Welcome to episode 125 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I will be your host. I'm feeling fresh. I'm back from vacation. And today we are talking about something called the Stockdale Paradox. We're making our way through the fog of life and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. Today, this episode really was spurred, the idea for it was spurred by an interaction I had, a voice message that was sent to me by the author of Good to Great, Jim Collins, uh, when I requested we were trying to connect on having him be on the live streams that we were doing. And he sent me a really thoughtful, um, just like total class act voice message um, to thank me and to give some insights and also mention this principle in there saying, uh, encouraging me to lean into this principle from the book called the Stockdale Paradox. Hi, Paul, this is Jim Collins here. And I wanted to reach out with just to say thank you for your uh, warm and gracious invitation uh, to join you and share some thoughts at the Automotive State of the Union gatherings that you're doing virtually. Uh, it sounds like they've been tremendously successful, uh, really having an impact uh, on your community of, of, of people in your industry, and I'm very pleased to hear that. And I'm also particularly delighted to know that you're a real student of our work and you have been for a really long time and how uh, Good to Great uh, made a big impact on you and is still having an impact on you and on your culture. Keep uh, embracing the Stockdale paradox. It's definitely a Stockdale paradox time. Keep getting the right people on the bus. Keep building momentum in the flywheel. Build a great enterprise and help others build great companies that are not only built to last, but actually worthy of lasting. All right, sending my very, very best wishes. Take care, Paul. Bye-bye. So I want to share it with you because I hadn't thought in this of the situation in that uh, frame, but it's true. And so let me, let me help you. Uh, so a paradox, if you know, a paradox is something that when you say it seems like um, an absurd contradiction, something that is on face value, um, that can't happen. But the more you look at it, actually starts to make more sense. So the Stockdale Paradox is named after Admiral Jim Stockdale or James Stockdale, who was an admiral during, during the Vietnam War. Now his plane was shot down and he actually was captured and spent eight years, eight years in the Hanway Hilton prison camp. And he was the highest ranking officer in the camp. So um, there's a burden just that comes with being the highest ranking officer in the camp. Think about it. You shot down now all of your men are looking to you for leadership and you are in some of the worst conditions imaginable. Your situation has changed. It's terrible. You're being tortured. You're being malnourished. Uh, it really is essentially it's like um, it's a hopeless situation, a hopeless situation. And so now what do you do? Where does the paradox come in? Well, Jim Stockdale not only made it out, but he made it out and he thrived after he got out of the prison camp. Basically, the Stockdale paradox is this, is that you are optimistic and hopeful that your situation will change, that you will get out of a tough situation, but that's not it. You also have to be realistically and brutally honest and grounded in the truth of the situation as it is that day what your situation is right there. So if you think about this, um, he would say, basically, the pessimist would say, this is going to be terrible. We're all going to die and do nothing about it. And guess what? The pessimist would be right. That would happen. An optimist, sheer unfettered optimist would say, oh, we're going to get out of this. We're going to get out of this. It'll be fine. And then just relies on that optimism to get them through. Well, they also didn't make it because still nothing was done to actually change or improve the situation. So Admiral, Admiral Stockdale, he said, basically this paradox is an optimism and a, a hopefulness that you will get through this, a belief that we will get through this, but grounded in the reality and the facts of the terrible nature of the situation that is going on right now. You know, he said, not only do I believe that I'm going to get out and get through this, but he says, I also believe that this struggle, 
this situation is going to be a defining moment of my life that if given the opportunity, I wouldn't trade it for anything. There's the paradox. This is something, this pain, this struggle, this challenge, this hurt is terrible right now. But I will get through it. And when I do, this struggle, this pain is going to define who I am as a person, is going to define who I am as a leader, is going to define who I am, my character, my perseverance. And even if I was given the opportunity to go back and not have experienced it, I wouldn't trade it. And I know that now going through it, I already know that when I get through this, I wouldn't trade this experience for anything. That is the essence of the Stockdale paradox. Um, he said, you must, I'm going to read this. He said, you must never confuse faith that you will prevail in the end, which you can never afford to lose. You must never confuse that faith with the discipline required to confront the brutal facts of your current reality, whatever they might be. This situation that we're going through right now is a paradox. And like the recording of Jim Collins saying that to me, this is truly a Stockdale paradox right now. We've experienced it in employment and in business and in social fabric of our country and our culture. When I'm recording this podcast right now, it is July 2nd, 2020. And when I'm recording it right now, it's easy to feel like, oh my gosh, we might it's looking kind of hopeless. And if it's not looking hopeless economically, maybe it's looking hopeless socially, or maybe you have hope socially, but economically, um, you're having a really hard time. So I think the paradox is alive and well today. And I think what we can do is, is learn from Admiral Stockdale and take Jim Collins' encouragement to really lean into this principle and believe that whatever it is that we're going through, whether it's um, an economic challenge, whether it's these social challenges, we need, to, we need to have an understanding that we will get through it. So if anything, while you're watching, listening, whatever you're doing today, I hope that that sticks with you from this episode, is that we know where we're heading. Believe we are heading forward. We know that. We're paying attention. We're watching podcasts. We're writing. We're working hard. We're trying to understand one another. We're trying to love one another. We're doing all these things. So where we are on the map is in progress. But we know when we get out of this situation, what has been produced and worked into our lives is going to be beneficial so much so that we wouldn't trade it. So that is the Stockdale Paradox. That is why I wanted to talk about it this week. I think it's incredibly relevant to today. Who the heck knows how long this thing's gonna last for, which truly makes it a Stockdale Paradox. So I wanna thank Admiral Stockdale, um, you know, just for doing this. I mean, he can't hear my thanks, but even so, I think it makes sense. So it's good decorum to do so. Um, very much so, want to thank the very much alive and well Jim Collins for dedicating his life and research to producing things that have real thoughtful value and legacy. Um, thank him for sending that voicemail to me that really was the inspiration to share this with the community today. I want to thank them and I want to thank you for paying attention, for watching, for helping to encourage me, helping to encourage one another throughout this season of a true Stockdale paradox. Um, just want to let you know, these shirts, No Crisis Can Win, these hats, they are now available for sale on the website. They are reminders for me. I just want to see if other people find value in them. Um, we definitely are selling some, but hey, when you put this shirt on, it's a reminder. So if you want them, they're available. I just wanted to make sure that was the case. And aside from that, I can't wait to see you next week. We have an amazing uh, podcast coming up with the one and only Chris Doe, founder CEO of Blind and the future. You'll hear more and know all about them if you haven't already. Aside from that, have an amazing week. Take care of one another, love one another, and remember, no crisis can win. Pursue clarity. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Yeah.